right, this one is called all upcoming anime of fall 2024 guys isn't it crazy that we're literally like halfway in to summer 2024 in just a month and two weeks or so it's gonna be october man and we getting into fall here we go what do we got first Adi Fureta! That's right! Adi Fureta to release... Oh, that's an actual date. October 14th. So two weeks into October. So technically, we still have roughly two months out for this. But this new arc of Adi Fureta in, in regarding the, the revenge of the bunny clan and fucking the emperor up is looking pretty fun, man. We'll definitely be covering it. Um, I got no clue what you are Miss Servant is, but based on the manga cover, it looks pretty... I don't know, it's just a hot girl, so maybe it's good. And yes, we have Yaoi Lock, right? We have Bururuk. Bururuk, October 5th, Season 2. We will be covering that. Yep, we already have Season 1 in this channel. We will be there for Season 2 as well. Next. Mao Sama Retry R, Season 2. Yo. Should we watch Season 1 of this? I, I Based on the cover picture and the title... I just feel like my audience would eat this shit up. Next up. Oh, right. We got the new Dragon Ball series coming out. I want to check this out. Now, I don't know how well it's going to blend with my existing audience regarding Dragon Ball Daima, but I could be persuaded to check out one episode and see how it's going to do on our channel. Next up. After School Hanako-kun Part 2. Unfortunate we haven't seen Season 1, so I can't really check this out. Based on the cover picture, it looks like exorcism. Some sort of supernatural exorcism stuff. Next. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean released on October 24? It released in August. <laughs> the entire season. No, not the entire season. Episodes 1 to 6 is leaked. 7 to 12, I thought was supposed to be leaked. But it hasn't, right? So we got the opening out <laughs> and like half the season's out. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, Netflix, what you doing, man? We'll be checking out Dan Dan, though. Next. So, this is another series where I fear it could be Our Last Crusade. Because, like, you know how Our Last Crusade Season 2 was airing, and I'm like, oh, shit, we need to cover it really quickly, so I try to do it. But no one gave a fuck in my channel. So, like, we'll see, right? I, I, I definitely do want to check this out. So maybe there is some time to squeeze this in. Season 1 before we go to Season 2. Is this one season? Is, is it uh, 12 episodes or is it 24 episodes? This is mid as fuck? You're describing 80% of the enemies that we cover in our channel. 12 episodes? Okay, it's relatively short. So I will try to get a gauge on this. And you know what's the sad thing? This series... Lost to Our Last Crusade in the poll. I want you to think about that for a second. In that poll where Dangerous in My Heart won, Our Last Crusade was second place. Then Spirit Chronicles was like third. Do you understand why I have no confidence? <laughs> Next up. I'll become a villainous who go down in history. So is this going to be an ultimate reincarnation? If it is, it's probably going to be fun. If not, then it's just going to be just like a standard Otome villainous kind of setting. The villainous uh, anime that I'm waiting for is the uh, Osan. O Osan villainous. You remember the cover picture of the bald man? Where is it? Osan uh, villainous anime. Where Where is this shit? No, 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 no. O uh, Old man turned villainous anime. Where? Yeah. <laughs> this bro. This bro. This is what I'm so excited about. This is the one I'm waiting for. Yo, this shit looks ridiculous. Look. It's a fucking like 50 year old Japanese salary man balding and got reincarnated into a villainous and now like imagine the sass it's gonna have over here. It just looks so funny to me, but I'm very excited for that one. Next one. Ah, we got alternative SAO and hey, maybe it's good, but I know for a fact that my existing SE audience will not watch this. Some of you might, but most of you won't because... Even though it's GGO, it's with a separate roster of characters that you guys don't really give a fuck about. Just like Mega Man spinoff. Any, anytime there's a spinoff, it doesn't involve the core cast. It's just a lot of people leave. Unfortunate. We might check it out, but I've never seen anyone recommend this. So I think this is a skip for us for now. 
Doesn't mean we can't watch it. Simply vote it in and win in the poll. Natsume's Book of Friends Season 7. Okay, yep, we're just gonna go. Okay, anyways. Seven seasons, bro? Seven fucking seasons? What are they doing? How is it seven seasons? Loner life in another world. Okay. Female protag. Isekai. Loner life in another world. We could check it out. We could check it out. I'll check out one episode. Any isekai, I'll always check out one episode. <laughs> that is fucking aggressive. What kind of poster pick is this, Freya? Jesus Christ. I mean, the title, the season name is literally like the... It's, it's not a regular harvest festival. It's like... There's a much more different connotation attached. What kind of festival is it? It's like... Fertility! That's right! It's Fertility Goddess-like Harvest Festival! I'm like, what the fuck? Even like the arc title is so damn bad. I am so down for Freya. Freya has been hinted as to be one of the most important goddesses in Season 1, but we never get to see her. One of my favorite moments of Freya? Bro. Season 2? At the end? When she shows up against that other goddess? Who was she? Uh, was she Aphrodite? I forget. But, you know, the red light district goddess and then Freya just like slaps that bitch and like... And she falls down the stair. Oh my god, that shit was peak. But yeah, Hestia getting cucked as usual. Poor Ryu as well. Uh, this is goodbye Ish Dragon Life. Yeah, it's Ishtar, not Aphrodite, Ishtar. Um... Honestly, based on the art, it kind of looked like Demon Slayer here. Just, just this guy's face and the, this, this over here, but... I don't know, it's looking like a uh, battle shonen. Mm, these are... It's a coin toss. It's a coin toss on how much people will enjoy this. We'll see. Next. Seven Deadly Sins! Hey! It's good to see that Seven Deadly Sins is no longer Seven Deadly Frames with this new spin-off series. We can't watch it because we've never seen Seven Deadly Sins in our channel. But hey, keep a note of that for the future. Next. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the yapping isekai. Yo, the cover picture makes this even cooler. We checked out a trailer for this. We did check out a trailer for this, and this looks very interesting. We will absolutely be covering this. Yes. The ma the ma this guy basically just yaps himself out of the fucking problems. And that's basically me, right? I, I, I love dudes that just, like, gets by without, like, superpowers, but it's just, like, pure luck, charisma, yapping. Just convincing people. I, I love that shit. This might be one of those things. Next up. Ron Komonohashi is Forbidden Destruction, Season 2. Loki looks like a yaoi anime. I don't know. Next up, Ranma! So... Hmm. I don't know what to do about this, because I don't think that my audience would watch, man. Like, straight up, I don't think my audience would watch this. Even though it's one of the legendary greats, the whole season's out, that's hilarious. The whole season out already is kind of fucking up the, you know, the... I guess the anticipation and hype for a lot of the people are wanting reactions to this. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Next. Season 2? Well, y'all didn't give a fuck about this series in Season 1 for my channel, so it's out. Sad, bro. Rooney Kenshin in the beginning was, was pretty good in terms of performance, but like, people, you know, just didn't really care about the series as much as that I hoped. It's getting a Season 2, though. I'm happy to see it. Maybe I'll watch this shit by myself, just like I will watch Captain Tsubasa, man. Maybe. Next. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, we'll be checking this out. Okay, okay. Yeah, another uh, shitty isekai title. Let's see. The healer who was banished from his party is actually the strongest. Yup, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Just sounds like the trashy isekai that we fucking eat up in this channel. Absolutely, I'm in. Next up. Blue Exorcist Season 4. Well, shit, we gotta watch like... What's Itadori Yuji doing over here? But uh, we gotta watch like three seasons of this. Would you guys be down to watch this shit? Probably not. But hey, if you are, just vote it in. Next up. The Blue Wolves of Mibu. This is... A delinquent anime set in a temple. Yup. <laughs> yup. It's Windbreaker, but temple. <laughs> No, no, it's a sad what that is. <laughs> I don't know. I look at the cover picture, I see a bunch of dudes with swords, like samurais, right? So it's not a delinquent anime, but like it's a bunch of dudes that's gonna be fighting. I'm not sure. I don't know. Is it gonna be good? Historical settings often fails in my channel, but uh, maybe it's good. Who knows? Next. Oh, shit. 
That's crazy, man. That's actually crazy. We will check this out. We watched season one, and it was a genuinely good isekai. It was. A very unique isekai where the main character is not OP, but rather has the ability to sense out OP people, and they do his bidding. I do enjoy this. The world building is fantastic. They took the slow burn route without making each episode feel sluggish, and it makes me care about the world. Ours is now about to ascend into the uh, succession war, you know, in the middle of it, and... I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. It's crazy that it's October 2020. I swear to God, this shit just aired last season. So they must have already planned for two seasons worth of content. Cause like, this shit literally ended last season. It's been a month and a half since it ended. And now we're getting season two? I'm in. Next up. Let this grieving soul retire. Hmm. What kind of show is this? Is it a battle shonen? Where, like, he's some sort of, like, spirit master and the girl is, like, his spirit soldier or some shit? No, I don't know. Maybe we could check it out. Maybe we could check it out. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't matter if Overlord movie's coming out. Until season 5 release date, you know, uh, isn't a thing, I'm not watching Overlord. And even if season 5 never comes out as the series concludes with the movies, it doesn't matter for me, bro. I'll cover Overlord on my own time when we're bigger. Watch the video where I explain to you why I didn't watch ReZero until now, and it'll all make sense. Overlord, one day, ladies and gentlemen, one day we will cover this greatness. Next. Ah, the anime that fucked up multiple people's anime reaction channels. Copyright Strike Frontier Season 2. No, it's not Shangri-La's fault. It's fucking Kodansha's fault. Fuck Kodansha and everything they stand for, you greedy motherfuckers. We do unpaid advertisement for your garbage product so that you motherfuckers can get some Blu-ray DVD sales and then you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot. Fuck you, Kodansha. I would like to watch this in uh, Patreon exclusive though. The opening is fantastic. The animation, the action looks hype. I hear it's pretty good, right? So I do want to check out Shangri-La Frontier, but it can only be done as a... Patreon exclusive. Next up. Blue box. Uh, I actually did take a trailer out for this. I don't think my audience is for this content. It's a sports anime with a little bit of romance, right? Uh, I'll probably watch it in my own time, if anything. Uzumaki. Did we check out a trailer for this? I can't remember. Uzumaki is not just the last name of Naruto. Uzumaki is actually... No, no, no. Naruto is. Naruto is actually the uh, little spiral crab cake thing that you see in ramen. Uzumaki isn't. Horror anime? Four episode long? We'll see about that. Next up. The do-over damsel conquers a dragon emperor. You know what? I bet this could be pretty good. I bet this could be good like Elf Bride. I don't know. It... it... There is this, like, you know, fantasy element to Dragon Emperor and is a cute girl, and... Uh, maybe. Maybe. Next. <laughs> Motherfucking go second season! <laughs> I love the initial D memes, guys, but uh, I, I don't think y'all are gonna watch this shit on my channel. Also, it's second season. Next up. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Demon Lord 2019? What? This looks like Cyberpunk, but if a Demon Lord just got, you know, this looks like a reverse Isekai where a Demon Lord got transported into cyber you know, Cyberpunk world and now, like, what? What is this shit? Is this like a reverse Isekai? Huh. Interesting. I might want to check it out, maybe. Next. <sighs> the third iteration of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War, where nobody fucking watches it in my channel, and I have to sit back and watch all the other fucking reaction channels get 100,000 views plus on each video. It's fucked up, man. It's fucked up, man. I wish I could watch Bleach in my channel, but you guys just don't care about it. Sad. Sad. Also, this picture... I think it's it's, a, it's an homage to one of the OG pictures in Soul Society. Bleach, Soul Society, cover pick. Let's see if I can find it here. Maybe I can't, maybe I can. 
But there is a specific pose that they're doing. But obviously, it had Uryu here before. But uh, in, in the past, in the Soul Society one, I am unable to find the picture at the moment. But this is a direct reference to one of the OG cover pictures where, again, Uryu was over here. I would like to check out Thousand Year Blood War arc, starting from Season 1, but... It has been a long time. Yes, it has been a long time since we've tried Shonen's and those have failed. And ever since then, we've had, honestly, like over 15,000 new subscribers join in on channel. So who really knows? Like, maybe I could try it, test it. I, I don't know. Maybe. Next up. Oh, yes. ReZero. Season 3, baby. I am going hard as fuck on the ReZero content right now. Trying to give you the best goddamn ReZero reactions I can possibly deliver on YouTube. And it's been fun so far. ReZero honestly feels like, like... We're only 11 episodes in, but like... I mean, even in episode 3, I was already sold. By episode 7, I was like, yeah, this is probably gonna be like one of my favorite isekais ever. ReZero, unironically, is one of the greatest isekais that I've seen. We haven't even finished it. Season 3 is coming up. And don't worry, we're gonna be covering so much ReZero content that you're gonna be sick. Like right now, you think that I'm farming ReZero, you have no fucking clue. There's so many video essays, there's so many other videos about ReZero content that I can't farm right now due to the spoilers. But once we're out of season 1, there's so much videos that we can farm that um, has just season 1 content before season 2 wears. And then there's so much content after season 2 that I can farm. And bro, once season 3 starts, you had no clue how much more ReZero content that I'm going to be just shoving down your throat. You're actually going to get sick of it, and then I'm going to give you even more. And I think that's pretty much it. That is the all upcoming anime of fall 2024. I'm not sure if that's like the complete list, but I will also do a separate video where we go in, you know, any chart and check out the different videos and synopsis and check, you know, my opinions about them. But hey, there's a link of the video. Please go give Anime World a like. Sub to the channel if you haven't. I'll steal the next one.